So this is how I get my students to share their Unity projects with me and vice versa. Um, I use GitHub Desktop here and uh, Unity, of course. And so the first thing I have them do is go to File, New Repository. And I'm going to call this Delete Me Repo to make sure uh, I delete it later, I guess. And I'm going to put it inside of this uh, Unity folder. And it has a git ignore preset for Unity. And all the git ignore does is um, determines what folders it can ignore, it, uh, what folders don't need to be uploaded, in other words. So all that did, if I go look in my Unity folder, there is the delete me repo. And inside of that is uh, this git ignore and git attributes. So now I'm going to make a project and put it inside of this repo folder. So I'm just going to use uh, 2018 here. And I'm going to call this delete me project. And it is going inside of the delete me repo. Create. And one thing to note while it's creating that is it just created that project inside of the repo and while that's opening if we look at this git ignore file and compare it to the folders themselves it's looking for a folder called library um, right where it's at however i need it to go down into this folder and then go into the library folder so it's not going to find the library folder where it currently is and so if we go look at the GitHub desktop, it sees thousands of files that it thinks it needs to upload when we publish this. Well, it's not necessary to upload all those. It doesn't need all those um, when I share projects with students or vice versa. So hide that for a second. Instead, I'm going to just copy this file name of this folder. And I'm going to say, first go into this folder, then into the library folder um, to be ignored. And I just precede each of these with that same folder. And never ignore the not there, the exclamation point. Uh, sure, I'll do this one. Don't forget a slash there. Uh, I don't use that. I do use Visual Studio, so I'll do that one, and I can ignore the rest. So if I hit Control S there to save and go back to GitHub Desktop, now it says, oh, there's only 23 files to upload. So I'll call this the initial commit, commit to master branch. And now I can actually publish it to GitHub. I do not want this to be private because I want my students to be able to see this and I want to be able to see their code as well. And now I can publish. And now that that is done, I'm going to close this temporarily. Anything I do in here, I go and throw a cube in. Looks lovely. Save it. Go back here. Sure enough, it detected that change. And added cube commit to master. I'm going to go ahead and push that as well. And now I'm going to just view this repository on GitHub because this link here then is what I would share with my students if I want them to look at this project or they would need to get this to me through our course management software or Google form or something like that. Um, but this folder contains <clears throat> the entire project. So I could just download that zip um, if I was the student and then extract that and I've done this earlier that's why there's already one called that but inside of there there's the actual unity project they could load that up and see my unity project then so that's a handy way to um, work with your students on um, sharing Unity projects, and then as they make changes, they can commit those, um, and you can see what changes they make along the way and uh, test out their work.